In the last video, we were looking at HueForge and how you can make really cool 2D artwork with your 3D printer. And as I mentioned in that one, there is a slight issue is that you're working with a grayscale. And so here's the problem is what happens if you're working with two different colors that are kind of at the same brightness level. Then you're going to put uh, your blue down and it's going to bleed into the area where you want to be pink or vice versa. So um, we're going to work on how to fix that. And for example, I have this really cool picture of Mount Fuji that I found. And we're going to try taking that and we have some pink sakura trees near the bottom. And if I try to make the pink, it bleeds into the sky and the mountain a little bit. Uh, so we're going to try and resolve how to fix that problem. <laughs> Uh, well, speaking of Japan, how do you like this uh, shirt that I got? That's uh, the uh, Great Wave of Kanagawa mixed with uh, Starry Night by Van Gogh. Um, this was sent over along with a couple other shirts by geeksoutfit.com. I'll have a link down below. They have all these great t-shirts with a lot of geeky, nerdy type of content on them. Uh, they're really fun. You can check them out at the link down below, and I've got a discount code FILL25 to get 25% off. So anyway, let's run the intro, and then we'll start the rest of the video. Okay, here we are in Hue Forge, and we'll take a look at what I was talking about. So. Here is my Mount Fuji image. Just drag that in. Here we go. And so we've got Mount Fuji and we've got the Sakura trees. Okay, so let's zoom that out a little bit. There, okay. So let's start adding some colors and see what happens. Uh, I've got some, I'm gonna start with some dark brown. Okay, and that's working out over there which uh, should be green, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so we got green, or we've got brown. Um, let's try putting some tan in. Okay, and some blue. See, I've got a lighter blue over here. No, no, go with this one. And some, uh, let's see, the pink. Okay, and then I'll grab some white that's just in here. Okay, just any white for this purpose. Okay, so obviously we need to adjust these. So I'm going to bring my brown down. I'll bring the tan up. Okay. Bring the blue down, and here we go, getting somewhere. Okay, so um, as you can see, we're getting, I'm trying to get the pink into the trees but it keeps getting into the sky and the mountain and that's just a problem <laughs> yeah see now I'm bringing it up and it's getting into the mountain yeah which no, let's bring our white up Yeah, it's just going to be very difficult to try and match these because as we look at this in black and white, the luminous, our trees are very much the same shade as some parts of the mountain. And similar up here, this what's supposed to be tan down here is also very similar to certain shades in the mountain. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so I've hopped over into Photoshop 
And what I've done is I've separated out certain parts that are similar colors, maybe, like the ground and the sky and the mountaintop. So now I've got this and I can just use pretty much brown, blue, pink, and maybe white. And I'm only going to get the ones that I want. And then I've got a nice, uh, really dark gray in the background. Okay, and then similarly here, I can just pretty much use blue and white for this. And then the ground, maybe some tan and maybe some green. Maybe a little brown. So we've got our, one of these will have a large background on it just to make sure that everything lines up when we print them all separately then we can glue them together so let's go back to Hue Forge and I'll load just one of these okay so let's bring all these back down to zero Okay, so now I've got the, bring this color back. Okay, so now I've got the blue. Bring that up. Okay, uh, a little bit, and then we'll add some pink. It's something like that. I've got another blue in here. Maybe I'll add this in to go kind of in between. Okay, so I'm going to play around with these and tweak it. And then we can print all three of these out and we'll glue them together. Okay, so here are our three prints that I did. And I have some of this uh, PLA gloop. Uh, I mean, gloop is probably overkill for this. You could probably use any glue. But I used a little bit of this uh, 80 grit sandpaper to rough up the contact areas and then we can gloop them together okay. I'm try to do this without making a big mess That should be good enough. Let's make this and like a jigsaw puzzle. Let's try and fit it together. And it's pretty good. I'll do the same thing with this one. Be sure to get it all over my fingers. And we go this way. Oops. Okay. Okay, I think that came out pretty good. Uh, I used just a few colors: uh, dark blue, uh, light blue, pink, brown, and white. So that's it for our video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.